Humans are intensely territorial creatures. We have routinely employed violent means when it comes to the defense of our territory, which can include the physical space around us, but also our ways of life. Skirmishes happen spontaneously without any time to prepare. But on the other hand, war is a systematic, premeditated, and weaponized act of intense aggression between two separate populations. This can also extend into preemptive aggression in order to wipe out the opposition before it has time to position itself. Military culture has dominated innumerable societies throughout time, whether that be the Spartans of ancient Greece or the Prussians who formed the German Empire. This is Ancestoria, Prehistoric War. Violence between human groups is not new. Our species has long been aggressive as we needed this disposition in order to hunt. Our ancestors hunted in order to survive. Violence certainly erupted between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, although they were ultimately eradicated by other means. Savage clashes are observed in chimpanzees, killing the males of rival groups while in competition for territory. This predisposition has been present even before we split from chimps. However, humans have taken intergroup violence further. While our ancestors were nomadic hunter-gatherers, skirmishes undoubtedly took place when two groups came into competition for the same food. But with groups constantly on the move and inclined to occupy uninhabited territories, the scale and duration of conflicts remained small. When unoccupied lands dwindled and we began living in sedentary societies, an accumulation of wealth led to the envy of others. Around 12,000 years ago, we see evidence of the first systematic slaughter of humans by other humans. In essence, the first war. Close to the Nile River in northern Sudan, over two dozen individuals met with violent deaths. Men, women, and children were slaughtered alike, sustaining multiple injuries before succumbing to death. This was more than just a confrontation between males, but rather they sought the eradication of an entire group ridding the population from these lands. The cause of this war is likely to have been the permanent settling of this region which was rich in vegetation, fish, and other animals. In 2000 AG, early farmers from Anatolia encroached upon Europe, spreading far and wide over the next 2000 years. The indigenous population of Europe was rather low at this time, and so farmers quickly outnumbered them in most areas. While their techniques were eventually adopted by the indigenous population, others resisted. Clashes likely arose between these two different communities regularly, as the early European farmers probably settled in the rich hunting areas and began to destroy forests and meadows, rousing anger in the hunters. Across Central Europe, there are numerous mass graves which date as far back as at least 4500 HE, where the victims include men, women, and children. Some of these show that they were attacked from behind when they tried to flee, and then attacked again when on the ground, showing an intent to finish off this population in a war of eradication. The cave art of Europe also changes during this time. Before, European cave art depicted animal migrations and seasonal changes, with very few representations of humans. When the Neolithic ways spread to Europe, cave art began to reflect humans more and more, including violent clashes and wars. Some show our ancestors engaging in tactical maneuvers and being led by a central commander, which means they began to implement discipline and strategy into their assaults. War became a central feature of Neolithic Europe. The Neolithic peoples claimed rich lands and amassed highly desirable prizes, including precious materials and an abundance of food stores. They were masters of the land, which probably produced a psychological shift in humanity. Some saw their opportunity and desired to achieve mastery over other humans, seizing the labors of others for their own and conquering prime productive lands already occupied. In their greed, they armed themselves for war. This intensification of violence led to the destruction and abandonment of unprotected villages, leading to a greater number of people seeking protection by banding together in progressively larger fortified settlements. A complex community evolved whereby some cities began to amass wealth that gave them greater command over others, expanding their dominion to form a civilization. 
This is Ancestoria, the history of our ancestors.